Hello, so we are back. But this time, with a battery. Yeah? Battery repair. You know what? From when I get this, and I haven't paid for, for this, you know, I will not uh, lie. This is not advertised video. I will not uh, give any details from where to buy and things like that. Okay? Let's stop this. Yeah? This is not advertised video. I'm not doing thousands of advertising videos. This video is about... How you can fix the battery without this device, yeah? Okay. From when I start to use this, I swear I made a lot of money. A lot. I, I haven't made a lot, but if I will, if I will, I will pay for the device, probably already I got the money. Just to give you an example, this is an Alienware laptop. You know how much is the repair of this battery? Huh? You don't? Okay. Let me show you. Uh... No, I can't show you. There are too many details. I can't show you. It's 150 pound. Yeah? Because, uh, you see, uh, there are customers where actually they know what is going on on this business with the computers. And uh, let's be honest, yeah? At least, let's be honest on this channel. Yeah? I'm not a customer. You are not a customer, yeah? We both know a uh, brand new battery actually that's the the life of a battery like three months how much you give warranty for the battery and that's all and also a new battery comes with lower capacity compared with the original one so if i have to choose for a customer i did choose in the past even though you, you remember the guy the guy with the acer swift i prefer to buy a second hand original battery instead of buying a new one yeah brand new one brand new one is a copy battery a copy battery is cheap from a simple reason, yeah? The battery itself, it's just, you know, poor battery. It's made to be cheap. Every replacement part is made to be cheap because obviously if, if it will be good as original, it will have the price as the original. Now, let's give you an example with this one. This is Alienware and customer want the battery repaired. Now, let me, let me bring, I connect the device to the battery Okay, just to understand the fault and how we can fix it without this device, yeah? Now, let me bring the program, <clears throat> okay? Uh, I can read the data from the battery, right? So, uh, what do we have here? We have a battery. So, check this battery. This battery has 44 cycle count, yeah? I mean, on the gaming laptop, let's be honest, the gaming laptops are always plugged in. And the battery is dying, like... This one, check here. So the battery is unlocked. It's not even like, okay, we have a locked battery because the battery is used. No. The battery is unlocked, but had a bad balance. You can see on the cells, you can see every vo every cell voltage. Like one volt, we have uh, 54 millivolts and so on. Basically, the cells are just dead. They, they don't have power anymore. Now, if you check the, co the, the health of the battery... And the health of the battery comes from the chip, yeah? So from the chip, contourize the, the charging current and the discharge current, and that's how the chip is computing the health of the battery. And you can see it's, it's, it's decent, has 73%. This is still a good battery. The problem is you cannot do anything with this battery. So if I try to charge it, Let's go and charge, start charging. It will not charge. The battery will not charge. The battery, you cannot discharge it, obviously, because the battery is dead. You cannot uh, perform a reset, nothing. You actually, you actually, this battery is dead, but it's not locked. That's the point when I, what I tr I'm trying to do on this, uh, on this video. You can see the current here is zero. The, the battery is not, is taking no current. And if I try to do a trick, and I've done this trick on many batteries. I mean, you have a customer. Okay, uh, sir, what do you want? Uh, you want a new battery. Okay, what about to calibrate your cells and I charge you 20 pounds? Because, well, yeah, yeah, do it. You know what I mean? So if I try to calibrate the cells, and uh, this should fix a problem where the cells are not calibrated, but the issue here, the battery, the, the cells, the, the cells voltage is too low. And it's, if it's too low, you will see what is happening. Start calibration. Ah, uh, one second, one second. 
I can't calibrate, right? Battery not detected because I have to supply power to. I have to supply power. Weak up battery, yeah. The battery has bad communication because it has no voltage. That's the problem. Test device control reset power on. Okay, let's power on the worm and send some voltage. And I try, let's try to connect and read some data from here. Okay, so you can see all the cells are over discharged and because they're over discharged you can't do anything here so as you can see it's nothing what we can do to bring this battery to life because the battery will not charge because the cells are too discharged even if the battery is unlocked we cannot charge this battery so what we can do to fix it even without this device without this device we can open the battery and we can charge each cell and see if that can bring this battery to life. I mean, the battery is unlocked, yeah? All what we need is to bring the voltage up. And if we are bringing the voltage up, the battery should be a working battery, yeah? We should not per perform any reset or something like that. It should work straight away. So what I'm going to do, I will, uh, I will uh, open the... I'll open the laptop, I will take out the battery, yeah, and let's try just to open the battery, charge the cells, um, balance the cells, yeah, we charge each cell, so we try to uh, bring the cells on the same uh, same voltage, and uh, let's see if it's the battery is coming to life. See you in a minute. Okay, so we open the laptop, and we have the battery. Let's see how we can access the cells, yeah. Okay, we cannot access the cells from here. Let's take out the battery and check. Okay, see this battery came out quite nicely, okay? That's the internal battery. Now let's see the cells. Do we have the multimeter on screen? I'll just try to find out a way Okay, so let's see, this is the first cell, yeah? So plus must be on this side. Let's come with uh, low current. Uh, let's see what is happening. Plus here. Yeah, look at the voltage, look at the voltage. The voltage is going up, slowly, slowly. So we have 1.8 here. The next one, let's see the next one. We have with a plus on this side here. And this one is taking current. If it's taking current, it's fine. Yeah. The problem is, is when you when it's not taking current, there can be an issue. Now the next one, let's see. This one, probably this can be the output. Let's see this one. Yeah, 1.3 with a plus on this side. And it's taking current. Okay, let's raise the current. Two amps. And you can see the cell voltage is going up. Okay. 
and here we have this. And it's going up. And we have this. And it's going up. So I still, I'm, I'm missing a cell, right? So one cell, two cells, three cells. What is the cell number four? Okay, so I'm checking exactly on the cell. We have 0 0.7. I think those two cells are on the serial mode. Okay. Now let's see this one. This one has 2.7. So the total voltage of the battery, what is it? Okay, let's power on the battery. Look at the cells. I mean, I just charge them a little bit and a proper uh, proper balance. I mean, it is a poor balance, but looks good. Looks good. Looks good. All I want to do is to see this battery charging. Yeah, it's taking 1.6 amps, 2 amps, and the, and the battery voltage is going up. Let's see the balance. Uh, need more. Oh, and the battery is locked now. And the battery is locked. Okay, let's charge the battery a little bit more. Yeah, two amps. So possible I did a mistake, probably the output was not there. But we're gonna see. Let's see the balance. Poor balance. But now the battery is locked. Why the battery is locked? Hmm? I didn't expect that because I seen it. It's unlocked. Reset. Okay. Now I can read the battery. Seal charging disable, discharging disable. System present low active. Let's try to unseal. Reaching info, clear chip errors, and now the battery is unlocked. So from uh, yeah, we clear the we clear the chip errors. We see from charging disabled. Hopefully you can see. So from uh, charging disabled, discharging disabled. Now we have. Charge fat active, discharge fat uh, active, fat are MOSFETs. And uh, I believe uh, this just fixed the problem, right? Now let's get uh, end, battery info. And now the battery is unlocked. Yeah, we can see it's unlocked. 
Now let's go to charge, start charging. And let's see if it's taking current. Okay, so anyone knows why my battery is unlocked. Yeah, everything is fine. The cells are balanced. Yeah, let's read. I mean, poor balance, but it's still fine. Why my battery is not charging? I mean, pressing start charging, I have no current. I have zero. You know why? You don't know why? Because the battery has a fuse. Let's have a look together. Now, any battery you'll have, that's the one, yeah? So you will have a fuse, okay? This is a heated fuse. Keep in mind, heated fuse. So this fuse has a heater. Yeah, so that's the fuse. And the fuse works like that. You have the main power uh, track and you have the fuse here. Yeah, so the fuse is melting actually the track. And the fuse is burned, you can see. So what is supposed to happen here? Here, uh, okay, was my, my mistake. The heater is from here to here. But here, yeah, you can see here. I have to zoom more. Okay. So here is supposed to be a bridge, okay, from one side to the other side. And this is the heater, okay. So this it will heat and uh, it will happen exactly what you see here on the picture, yeah. So basically from here to here is no bridge. Here is supposed to be a bridge, but it's no bridge because look at the solder, it's on the middle because the heater heat up the the, the solder and he, uh, the, the, he melt the solder. Now regarding, I made a few videos about this and people say, the sorry, here must be some calibrated, proper calibrated fuse, like a wire, like a... No. So if you melt solder, and you just make a bubble of solder, the heater, it will melt the solder, okay? So you're 100% sure that heater, it will melt any kind of solder you'll put there. Actually, original, like the, how the fuse is, is same with solder. This uh, fuse is not with wire, it's with solder. Let's leave the fuse like that, yeah? Let's leave it like that. And let's try now to see if the battery is charging. Okay, yeah, so that's the battery. Let's plug the connector. Where is the program? Here. Start charging. Check out the current. Check out the current. The current. Yeah. And you see the current is going up. Because now this battery is charging and is discharging. But that's interesting because when we reset the battery, this battery was unlocked. You remember? Was uh, unlocked. Then the, when we balance the cells, the battery locked itself. And uh, after we unlock the battery, we get a message, okay, the FET, the MOSFETs are active. But because of the fuse, and I believe the, 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 the software didn't know actually the fuse is blow up. But look how nicely it's charging. 1.3 amps, 1.4, the current is going up. You can see the voltage is going up, 1.5, 1.6 amps. Oh, so this battery can charge more than... Uh, 1.5, 1.8, 2 amps. And the limit of this battery is 2 amps. So this charging current 
doesn't come from the device, comes from the battery itself. Yeah. So the battery it is charging with two amps. And now we can see the cells are balanced. It's still a little unbalanced there. We can see a small unbalance. Okay, so we left the battery to charge for a while. Let's check one more time. Now the balance is quite great. Yeah, and till the point uh, the battery it will be fully charged, we'll have a good balance. Uh, what we can uh, we can see here. What what we can learn from something like that. We have a dead battery, right? But you know what? The battery has like 44 cycle counts. Yeah, the battery health is 73 percent so uh, because the battery either wasn't charged for a long time or i believe it, the, this battery wasn't charged for a long time because otherwise i can't see how the cells can go to zero i mean here we found a blow up fuse right so we remade the fuse then we unlock the battery, and that's a surprise. I mean, on the beginning, it was saying unlocked, but as soon as we charge the cells, it was saying the battery is locked. So we unlock the battery, we rebuild the fuse, yeah, and the battery start uh, charging, start working fine, yeah. Now let me put the battery on the laptop and see if it's uh, holding the charge. The battery has like 10% right now. Uh, should be fine, yeah. Should be fine. It's ten percent. Should hold the charge, right? Should charge and hold the charge. Okay, all done. We put the laptop all back together. We can see the charging light here. Yeah, the orange light. Pressing the power button. Let's wait for the laptop to come on. Yeah, my charger is not the right one. Yeah, I have a small charger. I don't have the the original Dell charger. But that should be fine, right? Even a 130 watt charger is still good. Should work. Those are some nice laptops, you know, the Alienware. Nice hardware. Okay, so we can see the charging sign there. Now let's unplug the charger. The charger is unplugged. And the laptop is still holding the charge, yeah, because we fixed the battery. Okay. So uh, it's still the battery is still discharged, has to stay on charge, but the laptop is fixed. Now, if you ask me, sorry, do you trust this battery compared uh, more compared with a new one? Now, if you check the software, this battery still has like seventy three percent health, yeah. And yeah, I do trust this battery more compared with the original one. I had a case, yeah, a few days ago. I had someone send a battery. He thought the battery is uh, locked, and uh, that's the reason why his laptop is not coming on. And I checked the battery. The battery proved to be good. Let me show you the battery. Now, this is a Sony battery. The health of the battery was 84%. The cycle count, 484 times this battery was charged, yeah? So the cycle count, 484. And like how I said, this battery came good. So I didn't do anything with the battery. I didn't charge the customer. The battery was good. So actually the customer has a problem with the laptop. But the battery was still 84% health after 484 charging cycles. Just, you know, a short example about, about the batteries. I had zero returns on the battery, like people coming back, ah, oh, sorry, you unlock it and got locked again. No. So, yeah, I'll stop now. Let me plug this on charge. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to figure it out how the, how do those batteries are working. I mean, even now I'm asking myself, when the battery show locked, if I will redo the fuse without resetting the battery, the battery it will unlock automatically or not? That's a good question. Because the idea when I started the video was uh, 
If we charge the cells, because we're saying analog, if we charge the cells, yeah, we can repair this battery without the battery analyzer. And uh, because I, we missed the fuse, I believe that's why the battery got locked. Anyway, I will stop now. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.